Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show, now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the head. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 24-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And they make the stop right around the 32-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And he's taken down at the 32. He's scrambling. He's to the 40. And he's tackled at the 47. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. Nice run up the middle. Anderson gets seven yards on the play. He's at the 30, and down he goes at the 25. He gets another set of downs, and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play-calling possibilities for the coaching staff. From the 25-yard line, first down. Tipped away. You know... That actually might have been a break for the offense. Sometimes tip passes can linger in the air and get picked off. Tackle at about the 23-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. The sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. And here's another third down. And he might want it all here and does. Leaps picked off. I just don't think he saw the defender and he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. First and ten. Ball on their own 20. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. He's taken down at the 20. The halfback picks up a yard. Third and ten coming up. Ball on the 20. Five wide. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle made right around the 26-yard line. Smith gains six yards with a short completion. Golden Bears running back. Sidelined earlier with that injury. Right now, though, it looks like he's uh, warming up, trying to get back in the ball game. Brought down at the 44-yard line. Hey, 
you know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. He's got an opening. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Gators. When you see that end zone in front of you, it can elevate your running to another level. Awesome play. And he adds the extra point. Rourke has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Gators really took care of business on defense that first time out, Perfect. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change the game plan. They'll bring him down at about the 33-yard line. It's second, and two. it's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. They come out in a five-wide set. And he hits him hard at the 45-yard line. Two-yard line. That's a game three on That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 42. He's got it with room to run. Steps out of bounds around the 39-yard line. with five wide receivers. And he is drilled at the 27-yard line. He showed you right there why a defense can never lose tabs on it. Take your eye off him in coverage, and he'll create a big play. From the 27-yard line, first down. It's knocked away and complete. Brad, I think the quarterback here really forced the issue. I think he tried to squeeze that football into a really tight window and he's very fortunate the safety didn't step in front of it and intercept that football. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. From the 16-yard line, it's first down. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. And he's hit immediately. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. Brought down at the nine-yard line. And that's got to be very frustrating for that running back. This offense is trying to get in sync and trying to get a rhythm established. And for such a negative play to happen, loss of yards, it can really have a negative impact on the offense and what they're trying to do. The kick is up, and it's good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Well, has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. He's to the 20, and down he goes. The 26-yard line.
So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Florida is up by four. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And they make the stop at the 31. That brings him second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on their own 31. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. There are three quarters remaining. Florida is up by four. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. He's at midfield. He makes his way to about the 48. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. From the 48-yard line, first down. Pressure and brought down. He has one job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. He's on the run. Gets to about the 47-yard line. They need to get it down to the 38s. Right the quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He sails it long. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. Splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice five-play, 78-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Rourke looks ready to kick this one off. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. It's second and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Rose right intercepted. He's at the 40. And he's taken down at the 36. Brad, it's still early in this game. They might be able to get back into it. I just feel like the quarterback seems to be forcing things a bit. And I understand trying to get back and fighting to get back in the game, but that time to throw an interception when you really need points, that was a big mistake. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. And he's tackled around the 31-yard line.
just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 31. And a quick throw. And they pick up the first down with a pass to the tight end. It's easy to forget about the tight end sometimes coming off the line. But you always have to watch this guy because he's certainly capable of making big plays. He's on the run. Great effort by this kid to get in there and make the sack. This defensive end has really been a lightning rod from the edge of this defense. It seems like every time this quarterback drops back to pass, this defensive end is providing some kind of pressure. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Makes it to the eighth. Sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. They're at the two. Second down. two touchdowns, I think it's time to make an adjustment and maybe try to start to spy him. Maybe he use a linebacker, a safety, somebody who's got great speed who can account for the running of this quarterback. And he hits the PAT. Florida is ready to kick it away. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. And down he goes at the 28-yard line. Second down and seven. Ball on the 28-yard line. it out to about the 39. Scrambling around. He'll take it himself. Tackle at about the 45. The quarterback picks up around six yards on the scramble. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. And he's level at the 40-yard line. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. This junior wide receiver had absolutely no room to run after the catch. Good play by the defense. Huber, back to return it. Uh, uh, the 
Gators are just cruising through this first half. It'll be really a comfortable lead here. Yep, there's still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Now he tries to buy some time, and they got it. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. Nice run there. Anderson gets about four yards on the play. California is going to have to use their second time out of the half. He's under pressure. He chucks it downfield. He's taken down the 10 yard line. I'd go right back to him. He's got the skills to make things happen, and the defense might not be able to keep up at this moment. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Handoff to the right. He makes it out to maybe the 10 yard line. Watch down, and he's going to get sacked. He's going to try and scramble. And they get the sack. As an offensive line, you've got to do a better job as a group at communicating. The defense brought pressure. At that time, they did not do a good job of picking up the linebackers. The linebacker was able to come up with a sack. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. So we've played two quarters. The Gators lead 24-3. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. The Gators continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackle made around the 26-yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. Play fake. He throws it. Has it to the senior. They'll bring him down around the 45-yard line. Well, I tell you, these guys have some skill players who can make things happen. They picked up an enormous amount of real estate on that play. Is it needs immediately tackle behind the line. That's a two yard loss. Yeah, really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 47 yard line. At about the 49. Did you see how quickly he was able to get into the backfield and make that tackle? 
Not many guys that big can move that fast. They'll make the sack. It's a big-time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Maxwell to punt. He's out to the 30. Brought down at the 34. Yeah, it's been kind of a nightmare for this offensive line. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to him. These guys have a lot of fight in them, but is it going to be enough to earn this bowl win? The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. down at the 31-yard line. From their own 31-yard line. Second down. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Passes in, and it's picked off by the safety. And they make the stop at the 36-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36. They run it left. Good outside run there. Verdine gets seven yards on the play. Golden Bears saw one of their top players going down earlier, but it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. the ground with the tailback. He fights forward to about the 29. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's going to come up short. Good tackle. It looked like he might pick up a head of steam and get the first. But the defense collapsed on him before he could get there. They tried to get a head start there. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. He launches one for the end zone. Intercepted. It's the sophomore corner. And just a great interception by the quarterback. Well, that's big time. He made a great read on the quarterback and got in there for the pick. First and ten. All on their own 20. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. They lose four there. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. There he goes. So he 
holds on to it and gets a good five yards. Third and nine. Ball on the 21. He is drilled at the 13-yard line. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. We're going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Walker is back deep to return the punt. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Walker fields it at the 40. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. Here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. From the 47-yard line. It's second down. It's complete. Unexpected call by the coaching staff. Now let's see if they can continue this drive and put some points on the board. He's at the 20. Great concentration to haul it in. From the 16-yard line, first down. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. Picked off. Another interception by this defense, and their sideline is really fired up. Yeah, they didn't want this quarterback to be able to beat them through the air. And with three interceptions, I would say they are winning that battle right now. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own eight. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry, and he's taken down at the 19-yard line. So at the end of three, the Gators lead 24-3. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. He makes a catch and has a first down. And he shoved out of bounds at the 34-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. First and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. He has some room. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Check three, check three, check three. Quick, 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 quick. Check, check. This is the Raver. This is the Raver. Throws it in a hurry. And down he goes. Around the 49 yard line. 
We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Fires it out. Tackle at the 37-yard line. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. And this is the eighth play hey, of the drive. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line and he's tackled at the 11 yard line but you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run tenth play of the drive a quarterback in the gun with five receivers He's scrambling. Runs with it, and he's got room. Diving for extra yardage. Big play here for both teams. It's third and goal from the two. They've got their goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. And he tackles him hard at the one-yard line. Kicks away, and it is good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Florida's defense, they've got the it factor. The it factor, the swagger, whatever you want to call it. When they take the field, they know they're better than you. And as a group of 11, they play like they know they're going to stop you. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they are hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's hit and taken down. the 45. There's a flag on the play. Holding offense. Well, when holding is that obvious, the official most definitely is going to bust you. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. Hits him hard at the 46. Just under three to go in regulation. Gets it out in a hurry. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. Green, nine, green, 
Quick throw. He's taken down around the 25-yard line. That makes it second and two. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. And they push him out at the 12-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. The defense gets set as they hope to create another red zone turnover. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. They're about four yards away here on second down. Grabs it and hammered right there. Here's play number 10 on the drive. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. They'll work the right side. Room around the corner. And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. A little over a minute in the game. And down he goes at the 45 yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's tackled at the 35-yard line, and that'll be a gain of 10 by the running back. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Golden Bears are going to call their second timeout. And the tailback picks up the first down. They only needed a yard, and the tailback was able to get it. He fights forward to about the 33. He keeps it and picks up maybe a yard. With the safeties coming up, making plays near the line of scrimmage, that tells your offense they've got to start throwing the ball to keep them honest. They'll work the left. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. Anderson gets a carry right side. Makes his way out to about the 15. The ball game's over. The Gators get the victory, 27-11. As we take a look at the highlights, Kirk, how would you summarize the action in this one? You know, I think it was a well-played game for the most part. California probably feels they should have won this game, but they just didn't make enough big plays when they needed to. EA Sports congratulates this young man for his fine performance and his award for player of the game. For the Gators, they rack up their 12th win of the season. And for the Golden Bears, this loss will put a damper on what's been a great year.